In this exercise, we're going to talk about subdivisions. I've got my top plan and then I've got an elevation with the yellow in the front, the green in the middle and the gray at the back. So each color presents a different depth of my model, as you can see on my elevation on the right hand side. I'm going to show now how to create one. So I've just made a copy of that same model. So on the left hand side and the bolt, we go down to vertical section. I'm going to make use of the quick section. Okay, it will ask us to indicate the section profile. So indicate the start point. I'm going to hold down my tab key because I want to go perpendicular to my model. Second point, and then I'm going to press escape. Okay, it will ask us to indicate the section extent. I include my whole model. And then Carol will ask us to indicate position for section. So I'm just going to place it on the left hand side and it creates the elevation or the section. This is where the enhancement comes in carry 28 is that if I select that section line and I right click CSM, now you will see that it's added manage subdivision. So I'm going to click on manage subdivision and at the moment as you can see there's none. So I'm going to say new. I'm going to start at 500. I'm going to say new again. The second one will be at say 2500 and the third one will be at 5500. But I'll show you now you can manually change your subdivisions. So I've just add those three. I'm going to say OK. It's give me a preview. So once I select my subdivisions, now I can change it manually. The third one need to see up to that level, the second one up to there, and the first one remains over here. So now we're going to update your section or your elevation. So first of all, you're going to select it. And in your object properties, you will see under specific, your style is by default set to standard. So I'm going to change it now to ask it to use the elevation with subdivisions. And as soon as I'm going to press escape, I'm going to refresh the section. I refresh section, press escape, and as you can see, there's my three colors, exactly the same as what you've seen over here. My yellow in the front, then the green, and then the gray at the back.